Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the review of the Holy Bro Copies 1 uh, Racing Quadcopter. Uh, this is a very nice uh, and special uh, racer because uh, it features one of uh, the best uh, uh, selection of components that are currently on the market uh, such as uh, 5mm uh, full 3K carbon uh, fiber wheel arms, it's a uh, unibody actually. Uh, it has countersunk uh, screws, it features a Kakute F4 flight uh, controller uh, which has soft mounted gyro and it also has uh, OSD included. You can change PIDs and rates uh, directly from uh, your transmitter. It also has an ATL ATL uh, with the transmitter which has switchable power. Uh, from uh, 1525, uh, 100, 200, 400, and 600 mW power. It also has an MM CX antenna connector, which is uh, very good because it's a lot more crash resistant than uh, other models. So you can uh, control a lot of things such as uh, OSD uh, directly from the transmitter. It has a programmable uh, board for uh, buzzer and LED lights. Uh, it also has a pre-installed uh, FPV camera which is the Runcam uh, Swift Mini and uh, it's mounted on an adjustable pivot and I'm going to show you that and uh, my model here comes with a, a FR Sky receiver already pre-installed so you just bind it, add your own flight battery and uh, you're ready to go. You just need some uh, uh, setup to do in uh, uh, the flight controller. It comes with also it comes with uh, Betaflight 2 uh, 3.2 version already pre-installed. Uh, it also supports uh, BL Heli 32 D shot 1200 and so on. So it's actually is the latest tech. It also has a GoPro mount included. So enough with the talk, I'm just going to take it out of the box, so it comes with this nice carry bag and it's a hard case, so good to have around with you. And inside the box we get some manuals and advertisements, so here are some of uh, Holy Bros models and this is the copious one here. And here it's the spare parts list, actually uh, this uh, shows us the main components that are included on uh, this uh, quadcopter such as the uh, all-in-one uh, board, the video transmitter, uh, LED board, frame, uh, it uses uh, T-Motor R40 uh, and uh, they run at uh, 2450 KV rating, uh, 30 amp ESCs, um, FPV camera and so on. So battery straps and accessories. So here is it. This is the quadcopter and you can see it's fixed very nice. It comes with this heavy duty strap and it also has a, the same type of uh, heavy duty strap uh, for the battery and the battery is protected by an additional uh, carbon uh, 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 fiber uh, uh, plate here so the battery will sit underneath and it also has a rubber pad here which is glued to the carbon uh, fiber frame so that's a very nice uh, design well this just came off of the lens there so let's see first quickly what we get in the box so this must be the GoPro mount and yes it is it's an angled uh, GoPro mount this can go on top of the quadcopter like that and you can use the GoPro sessions here and it's already tilted at around 45 degrees so when you fly uh, very aggressive it will be just level it also comes with a foam pad to remove vibrations uh, it comes with uh, an additional spare set of propellers the propellers are uh, three bladed five 
zero uh, uh, four five bullnose type bullnose because uh, they come very close to each other so uh, they had to be a bit shorter and in this bag here we get some zip ties an additional heavy duty uh, velcro strap and I call them heavy duty because they have some kind of rubber and vinyl on them and there is the uh, regular uh, velcro and also they are should not only glued when uh, they have a buckle installed so they should provide a lot more reliability uh, you also get a small uh, bag here with a flex ribbon cable and this is used for uh, uh, connecting the gyro to the flight controller this is a spare cable in case something goes wrong with your uh, original one uh, there are some uh, 3m uh, foam soft foam uh, double-sided tapes for the same gyro so uh, you can glue it back to your control board uh, there are also some clips for your motors some bushings and some double-sided 3m tapes another battery um, soft rubber adhesive pad in case something goes wrong a small hex key uh, some uh, heat shrink tubing for securing the antennas and we get some manuals that uh, shows us how to configure the FPV camera the run cam camera and uh, it's nice that we get this uh, remote controller which will uh, connect through this small plug here to this plug here so we can connect to the camera OSD and uh, set it up properly enable disable uh, uh, wide dynamic range uh, uh, noise reduction uh, and so on and this is the cardboard which shows us uh, the band and the channel frequency for the included uh, uh, video transmitter that is already pre-installed so the quadcopter is kind of ready to fly you only need to bind your transmitter to it um, the receiver is installed here and it has access directly here to this push button to bind it the antennas are already uh, rooted outside so one is on here and the other one is here so uh, you should use some of the heat shrink and uh, some zip types to somehow secure it um, the producer recommends them to be uh, fixed something like uh, uh, that so you are going to use a zip tie like that and use the heat ring to uh, keep it in a position similar to this and uh, avoid the carbon frame because that will uh, jam the signal the ESCs are installed under the arms here and are uh, heat shrinked uh, for better protection the camera is mounted on a adjustable uh, holder here so you just unscrew this uh, hex here and this one here and you can adjust your angle as you desire and it also comes with a lens cap for uh, better protection on the rear here you get the uh, six RGB LED lights and a buzzer and if you closely look at the details the buzzer it's not only soldered to the bolt but it also has additional glued uh, glue on uh, it on, and on the board so it will withstand uh, a crash much better than a regular uh, soldered component on a printed circuit board the antenna is also pre-installed but we get a nice warning here do not connect power without antenna because uh, connecting power to a video transmitter without antenna can lead to uh, burning the power transistors in that video transmitter now I'm going to do a quick test to see if uh, everything powers on and uh, if it works or not from uh, the transfer from China so I'm going to power on my FPV goggles let's see if they still have battery so they are working and I'm going to use a test lipo I'm not going to fly with this used thing this is from my RCR planes 
but I just want to see if this thing is working or not. So we have this mesmerizing uh, LEDs. Let me turn off the video lamp and look at that. All right, so it's beeping something. Probably that it does not have signal. I don't know. And uh, what do you know? It's on the same channel with my uh, FPV goggles, and that is working just fine. And there it goes. It has the OSD. It shows battery voltage. It shows used current uh, and something else, but I don't see it very well. So. Ah, it shows the current current draw, the current drone, and the battery voltage that uh, is available now. And it also shows us the artificial horizon and the runtime of the quadcopter. Of course, the OSD can be configured with as many informations as you like to have uh, display from the uh, beta flight configuration utility which is uh, you know it uh, very comprehensive and there are a lot of options available there with uh, the aid of uh, the magic of uh, video editing i have uh, binded my transmitter to the quadcopter there's no grammar there just uh, select bind uh, keep this bind button press connect the battery and uh, you're done uh, I'm using mostly stock settings of my transmitter, no trims, no unusual stuff, no expo, so uh, that's it. I only have programmed uh, my two switches here uh, and uh, set up the flight controller so I can enable, disable, arm or disarm the motors and uh, three flight modes here and that's it. So. Uh, let's see how this thing sounds because now it definitely works so I'm going to power on the battery connect the battery and I'm going to power on the transmitter and uh, what is nice about this quadcopter because that's what I want to show you is that the telemetry from uh, the flight controller uh, being a FrySky uh, FR Sky uh, receiver it's sent to the transmitter so you can see the voltage of the batteries uh, are uh, SSIE uh, signal strength and the drone current uh, and I can arm it and you can see here live data so that works not only fine but you get a lot of extra info and uh, that's uh, awesome because this uh, transmitter combination with this quadcopter it's very nice you don't have to uh, figure how to uh, configure the flight controller how to connect the receiver to the board how to make the telemetry work it's all there it's already done you just go into the menu select uh, detect sensors uh, the quadcopter with the transmitter a lot of things but the most important uh, uh, sensor that i have selected are uh, these ones so you know the quadcopter battery the drone current and uh, the signal strength and you are now actually ready to fly i have set three flight modes here uh, the angle, horizon, and uh, of course, sacro mode. I'm going to uh, test this quadcopter soon, take it out for a flight, and uh, hopefully, this will be fine. Of course, I'm not going to fly with uh, uh, this huge lipo, but uh, you get the idea. This is uh, was just a quick test to see how this thing works and if it works. Uh, after its long trip from China. So this was my quick and uh, first part of the review of the Copis One um, racing quadcopter. Uh, I hope uh, that I will take it for a flight test uh, very soon. Uh, I also need to uh, 
check some other settings of the flight controller for such as uh, uh, fail safe also setting up fail safe for the receiver because that is very important you don't you don't want uh, this thing to fly away at maximum speed and hit something because it will be tragic so uh, I'm going to check all of those and uh, hopefully uh, after setting it up I'm going to take it for a proper uh, flight test. Until then, bye bye.